Hi folks, this is Uncle Al, this is part of the Out of Loop series. A lot of people right now in the remaining two weeks, like I said, you only have two weeks left, and it's September. By September 2021, I warned people three years ago, everything will come in there. We'll get together, it's not a big riot, not a big disaster, there's no bombs, but a lot of things, a lot of smaller things will combine and it will affect your life. Like no banks, empty car lots, closed stores, uh, whatchamacallit, no jobs, everything closed down. All right, just complete utter chaos and shutdown. Yet yeah, nobody ever listens to old Uncle Al. Fine, I don't really care. I survived 2008. Remember the same players who causes the 2000 economic disaster 2008 economic disaster is in power currently captain crazy and his crews are causing mischief longer they stay in office it's going to last until 2040. the hard part this is for tommy's homestead garden and preps nothing is normal anymore 2021 to 2024. I've been saying this for how many years is this? It's 2021. I began saying this in 2001 before I came on YouTube. Still, everybody laughed at me. Einstein, C.S. Lewis told us when the world is going off a cliff, and the person that runs the opposite way to save his life is considered a kook or a crazy person. So when Hubble's cat and Praxis Prepper, or Practice Homestead, is running towards the edge of the cliff and but like her lemmings jump off, I'm not jumping off. I'm going the other way. <laughs> I'm not a lemming. I'm not a prepper. Okay? I'm calling the last old, mean old survivalist. Basically, I'm going to tell you you're out of the loop. You don't understand. Now, break down for one person, one male adult, one year, you should have stored away 1,095 pounds of food. That's 365 days of food. Okay, a lot of you didn't think ahead. A lot of didn't do the math of how much food you consume in one year. Three meals a day, one year, 365 days a year. And I always list everything carefully, so you can read that. Bulk, dried, prepared, freeze-dried. Because I put it in several categories because nobody understands Uncle Al. Bulk is the main problem. You guys have no idea and don't have any idea what I'm talking about. I do. I've been doing this for 40 years. Okay, canned and jar, that's a limited lifetime, that's number three. That lasts only about a year or two. Frozen, a year, okay, because I did my research. Fresh or root cellar, anywhere from six weeks to two years, depending how you control the environment of the fresh and root cellar. And people looking at me, huh? What are you talking about? Well, you were running around with uh, whatever black rifle or Rambo play suit. You're jumping around. Now, Uncle Alan's doing the hard part. He's figuring out how long before you find out, gee, I can't eat this stuff. And you'll say, I'll go rock. Oh, whoops. Why is Uncle Alan pointing that big 50 cal? That's the last stock you have. Okay. Uncle Alan doesn't have guns. Why should I? Okay, Uncle Alan, if necessary, if I need something, I will get it and I will use it. I don't make idle threats. You just disappear forever. This was my economic warfare I did three years ago. Now everything went up. Okay, I wrote this down. Past days, you need 
2,500 for red states, 4,800 for blue states. But everything is so screwed up. Today, you need $5,000 in backup cash, cash on hand to survive. That's today. ATM, debit cards won't work. Bank runs, closures, no power, no cash. That means if we have a power failure, if we have a cyber attack, you're screwed. You know, everybody says, what about inflation? I don't buy stuff. Okay. So I'm out of the loop. Good part. You're out of the loop because you lack the knowledge to survive. You will die. You will go hungry. You look stupid as hell. Now, a hot chick like, hmm, do I go after the handsome guy with the muscles? And no food, a bunch of toys, and it's dumb as shit. No, I go with the old man with a walker with a bunch of groceries. And the guy says, I have muscle, I have bang. The old guy in the walker shot him in the head. Now he says, dear, pick up the Rambo toys and pick up the clothing. We have another dumbass to bury. Okay, that's how we get old. We don't listen to stupid people. Okay. Out of the loop. Things to do on 2021. Road to hell. Now, I've been doing this video 40 times in the last three years. Prep or die. 90 million people is pl planning to attack the United States. Be alert. I'm not kidding. Biden and Harris are making lists. True Squats Commission hide. Okay, all this came true. Biden and Harris are making, you know what kind of back, <coughs> backs list, true squads, <coughs> and commissions. They got even mass medium on this. Three, don't play Rambo. Don't get ballistic plates. Don't wave your gun around. Don't scream. Don't make threats. That's stupid. All right. Don't play Rambo. Hide and stockpile. Be smart and low key. Three years, 40 videos. Nobody ever watched these. Okay. Number four, any 30 caliber rifle, any ammo you can find that will fire in the 30 caliber. Okay. Not rocket science, folks. Easy as pie. And like, well, I can't get a battle rifle. Fine, get a 30-30, you stupid idiot. It's a deer rifle. Lever action. You can find it in any, any gun store on the shelf. You can find any bolt action rifle in 30. People are stupid. They don't understand. Get organized with your friends. Get involved with your local politics. Find out what the hell your school board's doing. Your local teachers. Your local union. What the hell are they doing? Have they been bought out by you-know-who, that country between Mongolia and Japan? CCP has their fingers in a lot of pots, okay? And a lot of you have no idea. You're out of the loop. You have no idea what's going on. You don't know who's sleeping next to you in your bed. Mostly it's a lizard person or some kind of alien or some kind of pod person, okay? Learn skills. I've been screaming this for 40 years. Okay? Nobody ever listens to me. Me and Gil of Camp Patton's Family Apartments have been screaming about cert teams. Backwards Law has been screaming about cert teams. You could do it. It's free training. You could get a job out of it. You could get all the equipment free. But do, does anybody listen to us? Hell no. Be ready. If you live in the LA area, leave now. Talking to a lot of my family in the LA area, they're planning to leave. When you see Japanese people and Chinese people and everybody else packing their bags and telling you to fly off because we're heading to the south in Texas and going where it's safe, you guys are going, huh? What the hell's going on? 
Live below your means. Be humble. Choose a modest home, not a mansion, Spartan living. Okay? If you're living in an apartment, that's another thing I got to do. Uh, for the next 40 years, you're going to be living in hell. All right? Because what the commies are doing, what the corporates are doing, what these evil billionaires are doing, what the Democrats are doing, they're all wanting to buy houses. Because once they can control the housing markets, you're a slave. That's why I tell everybody, until September, you got two weeks. All right? I've dug up five companies. Home Light, BlackRock Group, the one in Canada I forgot to pronounce. It's some kind of property thing in Canada. Go follow the money. It's all ending up between that country, between Mongolia and Japan. Nobody ever listens to Uncle Al. People are wondering, huh? He, for instance, Hubble's cat. He sold his house right away. Why? He's in the Toronto area and the commies want that area. The easiest way not to take use guns or violence or atomic bombs, you just buy the place out. Money is a weapon. And if you do it correctly, your next boss is Chinese. All right? Eat frugally, downsize. Look for freebies. If they offer a freebie, take it. Forget about class. Class just went out the door. If you're an elite group, you better forget about it because your chances of survival is zero. Be on the lookout for freebies. Now, a lot of people were talking about class war first. I'd be ones worrying if you start a revolution because nobody ever reads Animal Farm. You should read it. The pigs are going to get it. Because people are fed up and they're going to kill a lot of pigs. That's Venezuela, Bolivia. I'm not kidding. A lot of people are going to kill the pigs. Nicaragua, El Salvador. If you have a socialist government, I'd be sweating bricks right now. Cuba, North Korea. Okay. In the age of authoritarian dictatorship, it goes one way. You're a problem, you will die. Okay? The rights of the individual, the socialist system, is a big enemy of these people. And they will hunt you down and get rid of you once and for all. So, I can listen to Hubble's cat. We might disagree on a few things. But sooner or later, like Animal Farm, the animals will rise up and kill the pigs. And you don't want to be on the side of the pigs. Okay? Buy only what you need. Now, I don't buy shirts, but my uh, my church group got fed up because they saw me dressed in a tea, work t-shirt. They say, Uncle Alan, your socks got holes and you keep sewing up. Your t-shirts got holes. Your holes have holes. We're going to buy you a nice golf shirt or we're going to buy you a nice t-shirt so you can wear it. And I keep saying, save your money. Because I took about private poverty. I'm not stupid about it, but they're all looking. No, Uncle Alan, you're going overboard. You're not like the homeless people. No, they're not homeless. They're Dems. Drug interdependent, mentally ill, or mentally enabled. Or dying, whatever you call it. But you have to be humble. All I keep telling on my videos. And this is why you're out of the loop. You have no idea what's going on. Now, you should have all $30,000 in passbook for collateral, for leverage. Do not touch it. Okay? Even with economic fluctuation, you do not never touch that. This is part of economic warfare. We'll be going over this in another video. Every stupid American is in debt 98%. Okay? Because they don't understand what's going on. They're out of the loop. They leave stupid comics. What's going to happen in September? You're going to die. Plain and simple. 
You know, you can't get simpler more than that. Oh, this was two years ago. Things to do before 2021. Buy a handgun. Learn, learn how to train you safely. Should have took Steve's classes. Of course, they're a strainer. Okay, effective handgun. Start carrying your EDC gear or go bag on a daily basis. Don't leave it at home. Don't leave it in your car. This is what you have to survive. If something goes way south or it's going to end up in a really bad situation, stock up number three. Stock up on food and water for one year. Been telling this for two years and you only have two weeks now. You are screwed royally. You're out of the loop. You don't have any of things this you know, I'm getting tired, all right? Four, get in shape. Start working out three times a week. Uncle Alan's sick. I'm gonna have to do a couple operations in my head, mostly eye surgery and, a, and what you wanna call it? They're gonna put a tube towards my brain. That's gonna really hurt. Okay, if you've been sitting on the couch getting a, a bread gut or a carb gut or gamer's gut, you're screwed. You're going to die. I can't help with you that. So stop asking me what's going to happen in September. Just write it down. You die in big letter. Y-O-U die. Stupid. Stupid's my thing. Okay. You should have taken a martial arts, arts class. Like judo or screamer. Bob four, two, uh, four, 942 Bob knows screamer and a few other things. So he said, and his wife's an expert, put together a bug in home survival kit or emergency prepared kit. That should be including a first aid kit, flashlight, camping gear, like sleeping bag, cooking equipment, little, uh, little tools to cook your food. If you have to bug in or if you have to bug out, not hard every September. The government's been saying it. Everybody's laughing. Yeah, it's an earthquake. You <laughs> did. Well, who's laughing now? Okay, time has run out for you idiots. You're out of the loop. Stop asking the question, what's going to happen in September? You're going to die. Period. And for those people, I still got to print. No, that's called hoarding and panic shopping. Stop it. Slow down. Spend some time with your family. Relax. Take a deep breath. And go watch these idiots running around. I gotta prep. I gotta survive. I'm gonna buy this plastic kit for four thousand dollars. I will buy all these food buckets. Uh, no, you're wasting your money and you look like a dumbass. I will get this magic Rambo gun or magic pistol and I'll save my life. No, you're going to prison and probably jail, or someone's going to shoot you and take your magic gun or magic Rambo rifle or whatever and hard plates because your head's not made of plates. Okay. Have a cash stash for one year plus gold and silver. Nothing to worry about. But that was two years ago. Your best bet is cash. Forget about gold and silver. It's too late now. Have a secure foreign bank account. Now, Thailand screwed up their bank account. Nobody goes to the bank with them. The way they're hooked up with the Chinese government, Honda's pulling out and they're not like, I got this Honda 2000. Well, sooner or later, Honda's not going to cover it. It's made in Thailand. Everybody, but it's nostalgia. What's wrong with the old series? Because they will guarantee warranty on it. The other Honda pro products, you got a 90-day warranty, and it goes <clears throat> kaput. Okay? The dealership can do it. You can't do it. So read the fine print, stupid. Okay, home and garden green space. You should have home gardens. You should have your city or town make green garden space. A lot of them. Plant fruit trees in your neighbor's yard. Five years ago, 
I planted over a hundred different trees in areas where no backyard, front yard, side yard. So I got plenty to eat. How about you? You have jack shit. Reinforce your close family and extended family, friends and relationships. You know, people that are you close, like your church, your neighborhood. Improve your house and personal security that means get ready for the storm it's a long storm okay i won't say winter it's a long storm starting in 2021 september and ending in april 2040. why it takes long because we got a lot of stupid people out there and they're so out of the loop they have no idea what's coming up and when they get in trouble and they're crying and bitching and complaining, somebody's going to put a bullet in their little brains and get rid of them. Because this is the time of the hard men. They will not take a nice answer from you. Okay? So I warn people, be very, very careful. All right? A lot of you have no idea what's coming up. Last time we had this was the 20s and 30s. And it got ugly, folks. A lot of people say, oh, no, I'm gone. Everything was fine. Then we had the Great Depression. You've been watching too many comic books and watching these horrible thing on Netflix. Get your head out of your ass. Okay? Okay, so you remember to do that. Good thing I tell a lot of people, a lot of my students, Get the hell away from a city. If you're an East Coast major city, you should have run five years ago away from it. If it's a suburb near a big city, you should run away from it. In Texas, there's five areas I would not put my money in there. That's Dallas, Fort Worth, that's Austin, and Houston. And the rest of them are yeah still working on it okay on bulk you should have red wheat 350 pounds i use 55 gallon steel containers nitrogen oxygen absorber moisture absorber and a bag stuck into a 55 gallon drum red wheat corn long grain rice because Uncle Ann did all the work, 40 years. Barley, you have to be careful with barley and oats. Okay? You want the barley that's non-rolled. All right, last longer. I did research. I checked the USDA, their figures. Okay? This is simple, folks. By the time you see this, Uncle I'll be recovering from surgery. I'm doing these ahead of time. This is August 14th. You probably see it in the next three weeks and hell breaks loose. So too bad. Again, one person, one year. Dried, pre-packed pre or freeze dried, 250 pounds. Canned or jarred, 200 pounds. Frozen, 100 pounds. Fresh. 195 pounds okay this is for one person for one year you're not going to eat all this this is a minimum reserve okay minimum reserve still you people don't understand what some clowns talking about don't care right now and before biden was elected last year i told you even again, and I wrote it down, 4 8 21, end of the USA. End of the USA. It's all your stupid fault. Biden's plan in helping the Chinese communists take over in 2021. They're really doing a good job. Enslave America, like you two. More riots, more. The three letter guys eliminate the other faction because they serve their purpose. So 
So they're probably going to shoot them, kill them, whatever. Destroy the economy and food supply. Starve America. Feed China. But we're growing all the soybeans. Yeah, and who's the biggest buyer? Using fake credit, using fake money? China. So you're thinking you're getting money. No, you're not. You're paying off bills. You're a dumbass. Okay? And when they wake up in four years, they say, we grew all the soybeans, but we never made a dime. No, after you raise taxes, after you raise expenses, after you raise cost of seed, pesticide, fertilizer, you don't make any money. You owe money. Okay? Because that's how stupid people are. All right? That's number two. Destroy the economy and food supply. He's doing a great job. Starve America, feed China. No federal backing of all states. All right. Look at the news. Look at the news media. They're helping no federal backing of all states. There's several state agencies that are breaking the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and all laws known to the Supreme Court. Four, the evil trio. Politician, perverts, and terrorists. Well, terrorists look at Afghanistan. Perverts look at New York City. Politician, duh, anywhere. Okay, this is why you're out of the loop. Okay, you go watch your favorite TV show. You see people in the commercial dancing, singing, and stuff. But that's a form of brainwashing. And you have no idea why you're getting brainwashed. You have a nice day. I'll catch you later. There's a few more videos of Out of the Loop. And I wouldn't worry about it. Just be part of the crew. Just go towards the cliff. Uncle Alan's going to be going the other way. Just go towards the cliff. And when you reach the end of the cliff, jump. Because Uncle Alan's going away. I'm like, damn, those are really stupid people. I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. I'll see you later, folks. Smile. God bless and good luck. Because you're going to really need it. And Jesus owes me a 20.